Had a really interesting conversation with my jujitsu coach this morning that taught me a cool business lesson. Just to give you some context, you know, one of the things we were talking about, we were actually doing uh, like some live drilling and I was just absolutely freaking exhausted. And then we started to talk about, you know, his fights, he fights in the UFC, he's a black belt. And essentially, you know, how exhaustion plays a big part in a fighter. And essentially how the biggest fear of any fighter is being in a place of complete exhaustion to where they can't defend themselves. And how a big, big part of winning, especially at the highest levels in the UFC, is outlasting your opponent from an endurance standpoint, saving gas in the tank, and also just having conditioning to take it further. And I think that's so similar to business because, you know, I've been in it a couple of years now uh, at a high, high level, right? Um, you know, three years now, at least a seven figure, mostly most of the time now, an eight figure level. And it's so funny that half the battle is just continuing to show up and outlasting your competition. I can't tell you how many times I've been so frustrated about somebody ripping off my ads, ripping off my offer, trying to poach my teammates, trying to compete with me directly, uh, um, employee backstabbing you, a client backstabbing. I mean, so many things. I mean, it's such a battle and a test of your actual will is, is, is somebody, uh, is an entrepreneur to continue. I can't tell you how much of the stuff I had to deal with to where simply the only answer was to keep going and to just outlast them. And especially when it comes to the competition, I'll tell you this, I cannot tell you how many times, you know, as frustrating as it, it is when somebody rips off what you do word for word, as frustrating as that is, half the time, if you just continue on doing what you're doing and focus on yourself, I've seen so many competitors start, come, go, start, come, go, start, come, go. Because a lot of them, they get in it because they see, and maybe if you're watching this, you know, you relate to this, but they see you making an enormous amount of money. They see you on the surface being an overnight success. And instead of really crediting you as an entrepreneur and your skills and your talents, and even more importantly, your team and their talents that you recruited and the culture, mission, and vision and values all within inside the company. Instead of crediting that, they boil it down to something that makes it very, very easy for their human brain to understand, right? They generalize, delete, and distort it down to one simple thing. They'll say, oh, it's just the offer. Oh, it's just the ad. Oh, it's just insert whatever the hell it is. Oh, it's just that they have blank. I've gotten a lot better at this, but that used to irk me and just, uh, I used to take that as a personal insult, right? So not only is that something that would piss me off because it's like, instead of really valuing and recognizing a great entrepreneur, or at least, you know, a great entrepreneur in our space, respectively, I'm not going to throw myself up there with, you know, the best in the world by any means, but instead of recognizing a great entrepreneur and, and that those skill sets, you're boiling it down to something external and something singular that's just like a tactic, right? I have a friend who's crushing it right now. And so many people boil down his success to, oh, it's just his webinar. Oh, it's just his offer. And so, you know, you got to let people think these things. And the big mindset to have is just not quit and outlast them. You know, another one of my friends, they're the most prominent people in the space in terms of teaching people how to use Facebook groups to get clients. And it's so funny because especially with them, there's such a low barrier to entry to teach what they do. And they train so many of their competitors that they constantly have people popping up, directly competing, poaching their clients. And the funny thing is, is they just come and go, right? And the biggest thing, similar to jujitsu, similar to fighting, is your ability to keep going and your ability to save your energy to uh, have endurance and simply just outlast the competition. You know, and I think when I look at some of the biggest people in our industry, let's say Grant Cardone, for instance, you know, if I compare what I'm doing to Grant Cardone, one of the biggest differences is he's been doing it for 20 years. I've been doing it for three. So simply just by staying in the game and there's a compounding effect that happens and going and going and going and going and going, simply just by the very nature of doing that, that's really put him at the top of the game in the entire info industry. Right. I mean, he's doing a couple hundred million dollars with the info side. And then when you factor in how he raises money, it's pretty insane. So hopefully that's a cool apple for you. I just think, you know, when these things happen, when an employee quits, when you got people, you know, poaching your folks, the employee takes people with you, people, you know, your clients backstab you. All of this stuff is inevitable uh, when you get to a big part of scale and you stay there. And so one of the key things to remember just outlast it, keep showing up, and keep going. So hopefully this is helpful. Have a good Friday, and we'll see you.